Oh no, this might be good. Find out what and why right here, right now. <laughs> Greetings Rommies and welcome to Vrom Vrom, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to an exciting preview. My name is Ike and I'll be the host for this video. Marcel Offermans retired as head of Studio 397 just over 18 months ago, having taken the reins from International Space Industries after they wanted to wind back their support of the consumer version of the sim, along with the team around him. In his wake, he entrusted S397 and R Factor 2 to most of sport games, and the decisions that have followed, well, you can see those and their repercussions in our news. In the meantime, Marcel has not been idle. As soon as he was free, he began working on a new project named The Last Garage. We were privileged enough to be able to sit down with Marcel, as well as have a taster of what he's been working on since mid-2022. TLG is meant to become a full racing sim in due time, but because it's being developed highly modularly, it may be used as the basis for different other sims. Maybe a little like Assetto Corsa is the jack of all trades, and for sure, master of none, for different kinds of driving. The sim is in a functioning state. While lacking graphical bells and whistles, the basics of potentially the next best racing sim are right there. TLG already has DDU or data display unit support. These are extra displays, normally USB or HDMI driven, to have dashboards, rear cameras, track maps, etc. displayed. Something basically unheard of out of the box, as well as a triple screen support. Looking at you, UE5, and by extension, Rensport. Speaking of graphics, Marcel told us that his priorities are modularity and performance. The sim has already settled on Godot 4 as a game engine, an open source engine compatible with basically any platform you can think of, including phones. Although we don't expect TLG to make it to iPhone and Android anytime soon. Marcel has also elected to use a forward plus style of rendering, a method of rendering where the level is generated but not lit until the player comes into view. Performance was in the higher 140 FPS range in the demonstration level, a version of Bridgehampton no longer in existence in real life, with a Ford Escort Mark II with equal to R Factor 2 levels of graphics. As far as handling and physics are concerned, the bare bones of the bespoke, ground up 1kHz system is already in place. Edge of the traction circle, material changes, road bumps, slip angle, all are already in place and functioning perfectly. Noted by Marcel was that everyone who had driven the rig had left with a smile on their face, something we can only agree with having thoroughly tested both the on-track and off-track grip levels. As was the case with the alpha version of Automobilista 2 and the closed beta version of Rensport that's currently being developed and tested, you can feel the physics are in place in TLG. The sim just needs more time and programming to bring those to the feel of the force feedback. Marcel was very candid with his expectations, goals, and roadmap for this project. Reluctant to set deadlines, his focus is making this sim right, with anything further than a solid, reliable racing game coming later once the basics are nailed. Speaking of those details, one of the priorities in the last garage is that framework. Marcel said they have already built a server system which hosts from a local device, can be hosted remotely, and also has a fallback system, so that if the main server fails for whatever reason, the game server can be hosted separately and automatically transfer all the connected drivers to that second server. The full extent of the potential in a fresh look at a racing sim in 2024, and the potential of an experienced lead at the helm of its development, will keep us interested until more news is released on thelastgarage.com. You can listen to the full interview both on our Patreon or in our YouTube members area, links in the description, and we wish Marcel the very best in his ongoing work at The Last Garage.